With this technique, my seedlings will sprout much faster and be biologically stronger. And the best part? It costs nothing. Now, let's carefully watch how today. First, we take one part soil. Then add the same amount of well-aged sheep or cow manure. It must be fully decomposed. Make sure it has no strong smell. Now, I've also added one part of the compost I prepared earlier. I mix everything thoroughly. If you support me by subscribing to my channel while I do this, I do really appreciate it. I genuinely need it. Now, let's fill the bucket again and move on to the seed planting process. I want to show you the mixture. The compost won't suffocate the plant roots. Compost, manure, and soil. Just the way I want it. It looks perfect. This step is crucial, so watch carefully, friends. To speed up germination, we need active yeast. Just one teaspoon is enough. I mix it with lukewarm, chlorine-free, dechlorinated water, and add a little sugar, because the sugar will serve as food for the bacteria. I cut the top part off a 5-liter plastic bottle. I've sped up this part for you. You can follow along and create the same thing using any transparent container. We add the prepared soil to the bottom, filling it about 5 to 6 centimeters deep. I set aside this pepper for seeds. It's precious to me because I grew it from my own seeds. Plus, it's an heirloom variety, meaning its genetics haven't been altered. We sow the seeds randomly. If too many seedlings grow, you can thin them out later. The yeast mixture we prepared has started foaming. This is a sign that the bacteria are active. I take a small amount using a syringe. For every liter of water, use 50 milliliters of the yeast fertilizer. A little more or less won't hurt. You can't overdo the bacteria and it will never harm your plants. The key here is to use chlorine-free water. Otherwise, you'll kill all the beneficial bacteria in the yeast. These bacteria will produce nitrogen and encourage rapid root growth, helping your plants get a strong start to the season. After shaking and mixing the solution a bit, I moisten the seeds while they're still on the surface. This is also known as seed coating. At the same time, it helps keep the soil moist. This bottle contains a total of 50 milliliters of the solution, which is enough for this method. Since the bottle will create a greenhouse effect, there won't be much evaporation. But if you notice dryness depending on the room temperature, you can mist the soil with a spray bottle. We cover the seeds with a thin layer of soil, about 3 to 4 millimeters thick. Don't add too much soil, or germination will be difficult. To create a greenhouse effect, I close the top part that I cut earlier. Based on my environment, I don't plan to water the seeds again until they sprout. Also, the bottle cap should stay open so air can circulate inside. This system keeps the temperature stable, minimizes water evaporation, and ensures the seeds receive light. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel for more tips and new videos. See you next time.